lymphedema. Lymphedema made up of two words. L Y M P H Lymph A fluid that circulates throughout the lymphatic system of the body. O E D E M A Edema from the Greek, a, s a swelling, an abnormal accumulation of fluid beneath the skin. Lymphodema. Okay, enough of the textbook stuff. With the help of these guys here, we're going to explore what lymphedema really is and how to live with it. You guys up for that? According to a study in 2008, lymphedema is a condition suffered by 140 million people worldwide. The majority of sufferers have what is known as secondary lymphedema, but this is not what we're talking about here. Primary lymphedema affecting children and young adults is a rare condition. In most cases, it is due to abnormalities in the development of the lymphatic system. Hold on. That's twice we've mentioned this lymphatic system. What is this lymphatic system and how is it related to lymphedema? Go find out. Within the human body, there are two main circulatory systems. The vascular system carries blood around the body. This red blood is rich in oxygen, fresh from the lungs. Blood is driven around the body by a pump called the heart. It's just like this pump here that pushes water around the swimming pool complex. Blood feeds oxygen to all the parts of the body that need it. When the oxygen is used up, the blood, now more blue than red, returns to the heart and lungs via the veins to be refreshed with oxygen. Again, just like the water in this pool. It's filtered as it circulates, sending clean, fresh water back to the pool. The second circulatory system in the body is the lymphatic system. As the blood circulates, it releases large amounts of liquid into the tissues. The lymphatic system collects and safely removes this liquid. It works alongside the blood flow like a sort of street cleaning crew. This system has no pump like the heart. The liquid moves due to pressure exerted on it by the surrounding tissue. If something prevents this from happening, the system breaks down, then in effect, the streets cannot be cleaned. The waste piles up. That is when problems occur. When the fluid fails to move around the body as designed, but collects mostly in the arms and legs, the tissue swells. There is no cure for this condition, but by using compression bandages and dressings on the affected areas, buildup of fluid can be drained back into the lymphatic system and reduce the swelling. This condition is called lymphedema.
Why are you all here this week? To talk about the Fatima, you know that. In the bathroom, I saw that I had a lump. We went to see the doctor and he sent us to lots of other doctors. And finally, after lots of tests, we found out that I had lymphedema. Well, I didn't really find out. I mean, I found out by myself. I saw it, I felt it. It was a Tuesday and I'd sprained my left ankle. And on Thursday, when my mum picked me up, I told her that I had a pain in my left leg. She said, what did you do? I said that I'd hurt myself in sport. When we got home, mum was scared so she called an ambulance because she'd seen that the top of my leg had grown and I was scared too. We didn't know right away what it was. I had lots of blood tests and injections and on the last one, I had two injections in my feet and they saw that in my right leg the circulation was good but not in my left. Well, I'm not exactly sure but, but it was quite quite soon after I was born because there was a doctor who knew about the syndrome. You could see it on the leg then it was bigger than the other one already. It's been visible ever since I was born, but I don't remember the first time that I heard the word lymphedema. It was probably my doctor that said it first, but I don't know how old I was when I heard it. Um, I think I was around three years old. I just know that when I was three, I had lymphedema. Apart from that, I don't remember. I think at first it was on my right foot, and then slowly the rest. I've had lymphedema since I was born. No, I've had it since birth. My dad noticed it when I was three. He noticed that one of my legs was bigger than the other. When my foot is swollen, it hurts a little bit. And also walking, when it's swollen, I walk badly, so it hurts. Yes, it hurts when I run or walk quickly. Yes, yeah, sometimes, sometimes. No, not at all, no pain. Yeah, a little sometimes. Well, because of the different lengths of my limbs, my back sometimes hurts. No, the lymphedema doesn't hurt. No, it's my glove that hurts. Yes. No, not at all. Yes, like when I'm going through a rough patch, that's when I get the angriest. No, not really. I know that I have it, so it's just how it is. Yes, a little bit. It stays in my head. I think, why me? Why do I have lymphedema when other people don't? I have to try to forget. Well, when I feel bad, I put on some music and I feel better. Well, it's kind of hard because I... Like I said, I think that everyone look at my leg and not see me. So it's kind of hard, but I have learned that you gotta stop. You gotta stop think about it. You gotta. You don't need to think that everyone sees the leg. You gotta just, yeah, let them look. So, lymphedema, now we know what it is. And as we've learned at the camp this week in Montpellier, it can be a serious condition requiring specialized care. At this time, there's no cure for this condition. 
or surgery or pill to swallow. But as we've also learned, it doesn't have to stop you from having as much fun as any other job. <laughs>